Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister here from Traction Dynamics today. Today I need to, I'm going to show you a video that's been sent to me and uh, some photographs of a 2018 Honda Goldwing that's had a catastrophic steering failure. Um, and so this is kind of a, a grave situation and uh, nobody was injured in this case because fortunately the bike was on a trailer. But uh, <clears throat> it's something that I hope Honda takes very seriously and uh, takes a look at right away. Uh, and if, so kind of come over here and I'm gonna show you some pieces and parts here. This is a display we made. Just by chance this display is uh, for us to uh, show, you know, just kind of show Healy Bar risers mounted to a 2018 Honda Goldwing. But uh, the way the steering system works, uh, up front you have control arms, so it's not a telescopic fork with a triple tree that moves as, as you ordinarily would know it. So there's a tuning fork that people with slang term for it is down on the front. And what turns the tuning fork are the two tie rods that you see uh, while you ride down the road going up and down um, as the suspension moves. They are connected to this uh, kind of false upper triple clamp that gives you the look and feeling and sensation and appearance of a normal motorcycle. Although you know, there are no forks here like you would normally experience. Now, in this upper triple clamp, early on when we had the gold wings, some gold wings come to our shop here, um, we found that the handlebars had come loose on the bike. Not the bars coming loose from the triple clamp, but the bars had come loose from this false, or that this whole upper triple clamp had come loose. What, what had loosened up was this upper crown nut, okay? And I have some videos on that topic. If you look back and look, you know, look for steering bridge crown nut and you'll be able to see what they were. Now, <clears throat> the way Honda does this on the motorcycle is this steering assembly is just, you know, it, you know, if it weren't attached to the bike, it could just, you know, turn all the way around. So it's on a spindle. It has a set of what is good old fashioned Honda ball bearing steering head bearings, like from an older bike, the 2001 to 17. All of the the castle nuts and uh, the and everything is exactly is basically the same parts, okay. And all all it is is it gives you, like I said, this interface to turn the handlebar so that you feel like you're still driving a motorcycle normally. Now they had this different nut and washer is what it's what comes on a 2018 plus on the Goldwing. Now when we found these loosening up. Um, I did some research and I found that the 2001 to 2017 Honda Goldwing steering crown nut was a better alternative for using that for this. So this uh, nut is thin and only has a couple, you know, four or five threads in it, maybe, maybe six, but probably five. Whereas this one has around eight and we're able to put a locking agent in it. It has a big um, a fixed washer, so for more surface area to grip with. So this is a better one. We sell this on our website for, you know, all pre-made up for 15 bucks. Um, so anyway, that went on. Now, as time passed, Honda diagnosed the problem and found the, and figured out what the problem was. Um, then they released a service bulletin on it. Uh, there is, this is a Honda service bulletin. This is, you know, been circulated on the internet and ended up in my email box. Uh, but basically what happened is, on a normal Honda Goldwing uh, with the triple clamp, the steering stem is made of steel. And this nut is threaded to it, and uh, the torque spec on this is 72 foot-pounds, uh, which is a very high amount of torque, a, a very significant amount of torque. Now, uh, those two castle nuts that are in there are spaced in a specific way so that when you torque this crown nut it does not add any additional torque to the bearings below. That's important. I have a video on that, to how to torque steering head bearings on 2001 to 2017 Goldwing and check that out. What happened is this spindle is made of aluminum. It's not steel. So these castle nuts in here are very thin and they only have about three to four threads in them. So when you tor t torque this top crown nut to 72 foot-pounds, 
It's actually got enough force as it's pulling on this castle nut here, which forms a base plate for the crown to sit on, enough force that it can actually push the threads down and, and deform the threads on the spindle. When it does that, the nut loses its torque, it can spin loose, and then you'll find the handlebars loose and wobbling on the bike. Like, it'll actually look like this. This is just my display has slop in it, but so your handlebars on your bike will look like this. So, Honda has a procedure where they have a mechanic. They, by the way, they don't use their own service manual. They use the shortcut um, that uh, we all use to install Healy Bar risers by uh, popping up the bodywork with some tape, protective tape, and then standing the console up. Uh, so when you do that, you pull the plastic cover off, look at the nut. The procedure from Honda is you remove this nut, uh, take the entire steering bridge off to one, and uh, drop, you drop the tie rods, take the entire steering bridge off and set it to the side. You're gonna take the top castle nut. If you can spin it with your fingers, then the shaft has not been damaged. You'll retorque everything properly, reassemble the, the bike, and this time you're only going to torque this nut to 52 foot-pounds, not 72 foot-pounds, 51 foot-pounds, I'm sorry. 51 foot-pounds, not 72. So the problem is the 72 foot-pounds that the bikes were being built with in 2018 was damaging these shafts. Now, so having said that, if you try and turn your top castle nut and it's stuck or seized, then that means the threads have been damaged on, the sh on this aluminum shaft and then the, all the bearings in the shaft, the shaft has to come out the bottom of the bike and needs to be, when requires replacement, and Honda does that under warranty on this service bulletin. Okay, so there's the history. And so Honda's aware of this problem. Uh, they know it exists, and they've come up with this uh, service bulletin issued in February 2019. Here's where it gets interesting. Come watch this video. So this is a motorcycle from uh, a guy we, who sent this to me. He's on vacation with his bike in his trailer, enclosed trailer. And he went to find his bike and here's what he found. It is completely unattached. Look right down there. All right. So. We can kind of let that play. I'll turn the sound down in here for a moment and you can kind of watch it play while I'm talking here. Now, so when I saw this, I thought at first in my mind that the nut had come completely off of this guy's bike. But the truth is, there's nowhere um, here. Come back up and look. So your console is over this. There's no way for the, the nut can fall off, but there's no way for the handlebars to actually just rise up and come completely off of the spindle. So what's happened is his spindle has broken. It actually broke in half. Now, uh, Honda has two tie rods on this motorcycle. Um, only one is required. The right hand one is what controls the bike. The left one is there in case of full on catastrophe, disaster, emergency, if it ever broke or fell off for some who knows what reason, you know, one in a million reason, there's still another tie rod in intact. The bike is still uh, relatively safe to operate to a stop to where you can get it towed and then get to a Honda dealer to have the bike repaired. When this spindle breaks, that's game over. Now there is nothing at all controlling the motorcycle anymore. You can push and pull and turn this stuff all you want, but unless it has a pivot to spin to a pivot to, to pivot about, the bike is has no one controlling it. So I don't need to explain to you what will happen if all steering control is lost on the motorcycle. Uh, now most people think it might turn and flip and throw you off. As long as the motorcycle, when that breaks and you can no longer give it steering inputs, it will go straight. Um, and that's due to the way the steering system has trail built into it. You can look that up sometime on the internet, but the bike will go straight. You know, you can probably get it to wiggle a little side to side with no control. That's about it. Any turn in the road, any turn, anything, and, and you're gonna crash. 
um, you could stop the bike, the brakes, you know, all that stuff works. So as long as you're on the highway, if you know, if that kind of failure were to take place, you'd be able to stop. Um, so, uh, I've not seen this happen or heard of this happening to a gold lane going down the road. Uh, this one was in a trailer, uh, and, uh, the guy had it in a, a wheel chalk and then had it tied down in various places. One was tied by the handlebars, as far as I know. So, you know, the Honda owner's manual does specifically say, you know, don't tie anything down by the handlebar, don't tie the motorcycle down by the handlebars. I have a video on that topic. You can look at that. Uh, so, uh, in this guy's particular case, you know, the, I don't know what the, the Honda will back this up or not, but what it's brought to light is, is if that bolt were to break and fail, that aluminum bolt spindle break and, breaks and fails, then the operator has no control over the motorcycle. That is a huge problem I, you know, I can't overstate. Um, here's some photographs. Um, these are just taken with a cell phone of the broken steering shaft on the motorcycle. These are the castle nuts that you're, what you're looking at in the photo is the castle nuts here. That's the castle nuts. And the spindle broke in between the two castle nuts. Um, you can see the shaft is completely sheared off there. There's the best picture we have. You can see so this side is a gray area. That means it'd been cracked and it'd been moving on itself for a while. This shiny silver side shows where it freshly broke. And that, that was what was kind of holding it together at that point in time. So um, this guy, uh, I think lives around the Reno, Nevada area. His bike's still in the trailer. They don't have any, they're, they're not gonna deal with it. They're just gonna take the rest of their vacation in their truck. Um, and then when they get, home they don't they're gonna have to have several people to get it out of the trailer because the wheel there's no way to control the wheel as soon as you try and back up the front wheel will flop to one side or the other um, so uh, <clears throat> this is a very serious problem now we started talking about this around here and uh, and we came up with uh, a little safety invention and just in case uh, you know, obviously this doesn't happen. This comes back to the one in a million shot, but just in case of the one in a million shot, we've come up with the, we're gonna call it our steering safety pin. All right, this is a solid stainless steel pin designed to fit the bore of the spindle. This can be installed in about 10 minutes or less with only a handful of tools. Um, you'll stand the console up just like you do in the Healy Bars video. You're gonna take this stainless steel pin which is designed to fit in this bore. You'll push it in, it's got an O-ring to keep it secured. Push it down flush with that, and reassemble the motorcycle. The pin goes down far enough into the bore of the spindle that if your spindle were to ever fail and crack, the spindle will still be intact and the steering unit can't come out of the motorcycle. You would know that something had changed because the handlebars would have some play and you would go to the Honda dealer but you would have full control of the motorcycle and you would be able to stop it and, or drive it to get to a Honda dealer. So um, this is one of those things. You probably are likely to never need it, but we're going to sell this part. Um, I'm hoping that Honda takes this very, very seriously. Um, this is the kind of thing that, uh, honestly, when the word recall comes to mind right away, but that's what I think about when I think about the steering being completely disconnected from the motorcycle or the possibility even existing that it, that it could happen. So uh, that shaft needs to be re remade out of steel by Honda and replaced on all the gold wings that are, and it needs to be a part that's updated in my opinion. It's my opinion. They may not agree. But anyway, if uh, they don't agree, then we're going to sell this um, precision machine pin It'll be 1995, and uh, it's designed to fit flush and not interfere with the motorcycle. The decorative bodywork will go back on, the glove box will go, and you know, it, 
you'll ne hopefully it's one of those things it's like a helmet hopefully you put it on and you never need it so anyway if you have a 2018 model goldwing you need to get to your honda dealer right away and get scheduled and ask them to perform the inspection procedure on your motorcycle and check and make sure that the steering spindle is safe and uh, torqued and adjusted properly and uh as a matter of fact if i even if i had a 2019 or 20 i would want to know so um, if you're one of those, if you're an owner, you need to express concern to your Honda dealer um, about this matter. Um, all right, so as we hear more, I'll, we'll probably do another video in the future after we hear how Honda resolves this with this customer because he's going to keep me in the loop. Um, his name is Jeff L. and he lives out in the Nevada area. So uh, uh, anyway, I'm Max. Please share this video with your friends, especially if they have 2018 gold wings, and tell them to get in and get their bikes inspected as soon as possible. So thanks a lot. Hit the like button. Please share. And uh, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll keep these cool videos coming.